Hello everyone, welcome to the channel KTU Basic Learning Mechanical Engineering. So after you watch this video, if you like it, like the video, share the video, subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. The topic we are going to deal is consumer behavior. It is coming under module 4 of marketing management. So before going to the consumer behavior or buyer behavior we should know what is buyer in the module 3 we already discussed about buyer characteristics in this slide you can see about buyer the first point shows buyer is riddle riddle means type of confusion a type of questioning so normally buyer characteristics or buyer behavior is a lot more confusion to the marketing team buyer needs varies from security needs to self actualization needs the buyer when he buys a product he need a full security from that product he should feel that that particular product is very much secure to him and to self actualization need self actualization means it should be fully satisfied or he or she, he or she should feel that it is really needed to him so self actualization the buyer postpones the costlier needs so normally the buyer uh, they are classified into different categories of high purchasing buyers low purchasing and medium purchasing so mostly the buyers postpone the costlier needs buyer is exposed to the information so in the earlier time when the information is not available it is very easier for the marketing team to make or convince the buyers but now in this present scenario the information is available in all the look and corner so information is easily available to the customers so they are very much exposed to the information. The buyer knows every aspects of the product about its cost, about its quality, about its reliability, about its feedback. Everything is, is uh, every information is available for the buyers. The buyer selects the information which is perfectly suits. So when he gets the information or when he uh, look on to the reviews of a particular product, from those reviews or from searching those reviews, he or she or a buyer get an idea about what the product is and looking on to this information he selects his product the buyers buying decision is either spontaneous on the spot or made after a detailed analysis so buyer normally some buyers will buy the product at the spot itself but some buyers they will keep it as a pending to take a detailed analysis of the product so after that getting a uh, getting a detailed review about the product or uh, getting a feedback or uh, getting some feedback from the public normally a buyer buys a product or some buyers will spontaneously buy the product at the spot itself so in the next we are going to get the definition of the buyer behavior it is defined as all psychological, social and physical behavior of potential customers as they become aware of, evaluate, purchase, consume and tell others about products and services. So the buyer behavior is defined as a psychological, social or physical behavior which appears in the customer when they think about evaluating a product, purchasing a product, consuming a product or tell others about products and services so it's normally when a, uh, when a buyer buys a product when a, when a buyer thinks about buying a product he always think about evaluating uh, he will think two or three times whether it is needed whether uh, it's a good quality or he or she will uh, try to evaluate the product by asking to the public and even after buying the product also they will uh, communicate about the product uh, quality and detail to other uh, public uh, this is the most buyer behavior which is uh, actually seen it involves individual as well as group process so buyer behavior or buyer pattern which we discussed in the earlier slide can be seen in the individual as well as in for the uh, group uh, group so if an individual purchases or if a group of people purchases the same type of uh, mentality will be seen in both the categories it is reflected by post purchase evaluation which results in satisfaction or non satisfaction so normally people after purchasing a product they will be satisfied or non, -sat non satisfied so it is a post purchase evaluation uh, they will always give a post purchase evaluation about the product it includes communication purchasing and conception behavior so those 
those uh, per evaluation will include communication, the purchasing and conception behavior. Buyer behavior is shaped by social environment. So normally buyer behavior is shaped by social environment because if we are uh, uh, if we are encircled by a high class people, may, maybe our buyer behavior will be different. If we are in a uh, low standard or low, low people, so our behavior will be in such a way. So it is always uh, encircled by a social environment. Buyer behavior includes both the behavior of consumers and industry. So the next slide is factors influence seeing the buyer behavior so there are about uh, six factors so the first factor is impact of information so the buyer today is exposed to a variety of information there is a information unleashed on him from different sources these sources inform him about new products and services improved versions of existing products new uses for existing products and so on so information is readily available for the customers from uh, each and every corner so uh, they will always depend on this information before buying a product the second one is socio cultural environment so the buyer whom we are studying is living in a society influenced by it and in turns influencing its course of development he is a member of several organization formal or informally he is a unit of several groups he belongs to a family he is a member of some religion or caste he belongs to a certain language group he may be a member of a professional forum he may belong to a particular political group or a cultural body so there is a constant interaction between the individual and the organization to which he belongs and all these interactions leave some imprints on him which influences his buying pattern now the third one is group influence so group influence is normally divided into two i mean it will be divided into two types like intimate group and broad social classes so broad social classes we'll be discussing in the next point so the intimate group means normally the friends family circles so their way of uh, interaction with the buyer will uh, with, will surely influence his buying pattern now in the case of the uh, social classes influence influence of social classes the member of a social group will enjoy more or less the same community status and prestige so each class develop its own standard of lifestyle and behavior pattern and the member of the class normally select a product or a brand which suits to that group so social classes means it's a group of social people uh, and highly influenced people normally buys a product with a high class brand so when that particular group of member are behaving in a same pattern of buying so normally our buyer in that particular social class group will always follow the same pattern now the next fifth point is the influence of religion culture language on the buying behavior so every culture every religion and every language group have its own pattern so within each religion there may be several subsects so uh, the each religion uh, prefers some do's and don'ts uh, which will be followed by the buyer so this is same for the culture as well as language so there will be some do's and don'ts uh, which our buyer will be following uh, under these religion cultural language so based on that will be the buyer will be following a buying pattern now the last point is status influencing the buyer behavior so people are becoming more and more concerned about their image or their status in the society so this concern is a direct outcome of the material prosperity of the society the decide to somebody to feel that you are somebody or to show that you are one in compelling one in the modern society so in order to make your status in the society your buying pattern will be uh, in that manner only so uh, status influence by your behavior so surely the status will influence because today people are thinking in a such a way that yes i am having something uh, he or she not having that so so these are the different important factors which influence the buyer behavior so the next slide is on the buying process so um, there are about uh, five different points for the buying process the funds first point is the need of recognition that is a buyer should feel that uh, uh, he or she needs a particular product he uh, should think about uh, or started to think about uh, to feel that certain need so desire has arisen so based on that only uh, the buying process starts the second one is information search 
so uh, after uh, thinking about buying a product he or she will definitely search for the information about the product um, maybe they will they will get the information from the uh, uh, internet sources or maybe from the public or maybe friends or families wherever possible he will always collect he will always try to collect the information about the product then comes on the evaluation of the alternative so when uh, they focus on a particular brand they always thinking about an alternative brand uh, maybe uh, based on uh, the prices maybe be based on some discounts so based on that he will always think or the buyer will always think about alternatives now after going through the alternatives and he or she will uh, think about a particular product then he uh, now the second and uh, next step is to think about purchasing the product now uh, after that the post purchase experience and behavior so after purchasing uh, uh, they will be having an experience about that product maybe positive or maybe negative they will always share these experiences or feedbacks to the public so these are are the buying process normally followed in every customers this is the buying pattern so by this we conclude on the topic about uh, consumer behavior so thank you for watching the video if you like the video like it share it subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the new videos thank you